Guys, welcome back to a brand new Disney Heroes Battle Mode video. And this is a pretty exciting one because we've got an update here. This update did drop five days ago, but guys, I just completely overlooked this one. Um, so I wanted to talk about it and the fact that the update is here today. So what do we have to look forward to in today's new update? So we have Dr. Bunsen, Honeydew, and Beaker, which is obviously another continuation of the Muppet characters that they've got chosen. So I think that is very, very awesome that we can continue down the Muppet characters kind of road there. And they all look very, very cool. So this is for each new characters and content. The chapters and content and characters. So we've got the first character here. Now his skill, copy machine. Instead of a basic attack, Dr. Bunsen clones Beaker <laughs> oh yeah, I remember reading about this a while ago. Clone speaker that has max HP and deals damage for each basic attack. You can have a maximum number of beaker clones at once. So obviously, Doctor clones beaker. And there's just There's just gonna be loads there's just gonna be loads of them running around, which is something I'm very, very excited to see and get a hold of and just see how it's gonna work because it just sounds absolutely mental. When beakers are KO'd, they explode, dealing damage and blinding nearby enemies. Um, electric nose warmer. Dr. Busan activates his electric nose warmer, giving him energy, healing him, and increasing his attack speed. So that basically does everything. Which is pretty ridiculous when you think about it. Bubbly with excitement. Beaker, Dr. Busan eyes are immune to studies. Not amazing that one but it's still a pretty good skill cloning around yeah look how cool that is just look at them all there that that is pretty sick we've got cloning around after beaker has basic attacked a number of times they automatically explode dealing damage in addition to the damage dealt by clone kaboom allies damage dealing skills still that's ridiculous that is absolutely ridiculous. And he's got a friendship mission with y Yasma and Gizmo Duck. We can't see what they are at the moment. So, new hero locations and content. And yes! Cap has finally gone. Has finally gone up, which is very, very important. Good. Um, rank 15. I'm nowhere near getting characters to that rank. So, that can just be whatever, I guess, for now. Chapter 36, Just Beach is now available. New hero, Sun and Beaker. Yeah, okay, in the arena crates. It's a bit annoying. But that's nice because that means we can start to unlock the elite, uh, the evil queen. I never really tried the evil queen too much, guys, so I'm not really too sure if she was good. But these types of characters who are going to exclusive into crates, I tend to just ignore them because I don't really like the way that works. But, guys, that's a quick breakdown of what's coming out in the update. So let's actually take a look because what should be exciting now because the update actually dropped uh, last night. Rapid recruitment, Kim Possible, Gold Special. Not to be fair, that's not one of the worst deals I've ever seen, guys. Um, they do go. They need to relax on the deals. Do you know what I mean? It's it's a little bit mental sometimes. But okay, cool. So I'll, I'll leave Manticore and we'll get Manticore later on. Claim that. Lovely. Oh, come on. I guess we good. Basically, what I want to try and get from everywhere now is just Mulan shards on repeat. Because that will be the most important thing. I got absolutely smashed in these um, battles. Uh, I might as well try and fight this one. But the same thing will happen. Because they're, they're going to heal, heal, heal. Yeah. Absolutely mental. I do not like the stamina. So I'll, I'll move up a rank, so it doesn't really matter too much. We'll get my lovely diamonds every day. Okay, awesome. Just ticking off my daily missions. So, I think, yeah, I've got two more raids left on here, guys. And then I'm going to start to do it on the epic mode. Just to keep that extra bit of money sort of slotting in nice and slowly. Oh, we're nearly running out of something here as well. Oh, we can get killer in the high shop. Lovely. Let's grab five more further. 
Cool, that'll do five more resets now on those missions. Oh, sometimes they increase the difficulty of these without saying no, they haven't. That's just an unreal amount of XP potions I keep sort of juicing up there, guys, which is very, very important. Now what I wanted to show you was if I can get into the, um, the Mega Mark, because obviously we can go up more levels now, which is important for the rest of the story mode. So if I go into um, the story mode, and maybe I can see if I can unlock some more characters. If I could go into here, that's still all locked. That's still all locked. So I'll do a couple more um, story mode chapters here in 31. And we'll see if we can unlock the Mega Mart where you can get the XP because that's going to be the important bit. At the moment, I've got absolutely no worries going through any of these missions. That's one of the best things about it. I've got myself ready here. Where is that pointing? Right, that's a bit glitched out. But yeah, guys, if you were to mimic my team, you know, it would allow you to be able to get and, you know, actually see the, how far I can get with these types of characters selected. You know, it it is... It does all go relatively well. There we go. Easy. So yeah, I can ping through there. I got the black market, but that's not what I wanted. But let's take a look and see if we actually get anything useful. Once again, we do not. Oh, just give me some skill charts for Beast. Out of all three of them, it's just no characters that I use. Every single time that happens, guys. It, it does get a little bit annoying every single time, but I'll grab those as I always do. I don't need any more Rex Shards, that is for certain. Um, great. Okay, so let's just go on to a character. Who do I need to level up now? Um, I've got all these ready for a big video I'm going to do, guys. I'm trying to think of who I should work on next. I know a lot of people use Elsa, so maybe, maybe we should get Elsa upgraded. Five thousand stamina, mental. Can I quick off this one? Uh, yeah, I can see you can. I like that you can just do this now, and you can go and power craft some of the smaller badges. It just makes everything so much quicker. Bit of a better flow. Okay, so it's important now that I do use all my stamina, Mega Mart. Okay, now, now what I need in here. It's the Team XP and it hasn't given it to me. Team XP, buy. Buy the stamina. Then I always buy the badge bits as well. And what I was going to do is use the free refreshers here. I'm being mugged off with my um, resets today. Team XP. Buy those for gold. You have a free refresh. Stamina. See, this is the best way that you can spend your um, diamonds now, guys. Team XP. They go already leveled up now. Just for buying the Team XP. So every day, guys, I recommend also use your stamina to raid. Unlock this store. Buy your Team XP. Um, use your, and then use your free reset and try and grab the Team XP again. It's going to be the easiest way to level up. Like that. Nice and easy. Hit the mailbox, claim everything, get a few more diamonds. Those rewards are, are jokes that you get from in there. Brilliant. So yeah, it it's all gone relatively well, guys. We've got a new update. It looks cool. We've got, obviously, character cap. Uh, level caps increased, which is what I'm very excited about. Ooh, ways cleared. One. Yeah, boy, he's got my, na got my name in um, bold there. All right. Win whilst using a mercenary, easy. There we go. So I knew Ducking Bunny would be able to counter. It's a bit of a harder one. Win whilst using a mercenary. I can quick fight that now. See, then I'll get them both. Look at that, three million gold from one raid. That's just mental. So what I recommend, guys, is that you just start to auto-select and raid everything. So you, you saw me do this the other day as well. 
Because just going through like this, you can complete loads of missions, guys, and you're not going to be wasting any sort of energy. That's one of the important things. You know, obviously it depends on your guild level. I joined a bit of a newer guild because I wanted to help a new guild grow. But yeah, it does all depend, guys. But, you know, quick fire. Might be able to win that one. Yeah. See? You can see that from all of that, you can still always select people. And then you can just quick fight. So you don't you don't want to be wasting any kind of time here because this doesn't take any time to well okay I lost that one. This doesn't really take any time at all to do. Obviously I've got rubbish characters now. But yeah, you can just dot through all the easy ones as well. You don't even have to think about it. Just keep quick fighting. Do as many as you can. And when you're done, dump your dump your heroes off like that. Easy. What was that? Under a minute? I'm getting insane rewards from that in basically insane amounts of everything. So it is very important, guys, that you make sure you do that because it's just going to help the guild out. The same for when you're spamming through these as well. All of this here is going to help your guild out, get loads of brilliant stuff. Then you can do that now so it's even quicker than normal. And that's kind of one of the um, cool things. I love it. If you try and do it quick, you just get an error message every time. Let's come on. It's not difficult, and then that means, you know, I can now do five more in here. Just that speed of clicking through as much as quickly as you can, guys. You know, because you don't need you don't need to dilly dally on these because you know you can get through them. So as I always say, I recommend that you do it on one times until you run out of life. Until you die. And then you can use some of your revives and, you know, actually save all of your sort of attempts here. So I'm already level 70 now, guys. Look, look at all these rewards I got. Basically doing nothing. You know, they're good rewards. They're good rewards. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, guys, destroy that like and subscribe button. The new update is out and it's brilliant. We can start to level carrots up further. We've got a lot to get involved with now so if you are new here guys smash that like and subscribe button and comment down your level down below and i'll see you all in the next one